Hi, my name's Kath Reed. I'm a fat activist in Brisbane. I blog at Fat Heffalump, um, where I've been blogging for about five years. And it's my goal to change the way people think about fatness. I always thought I was fat. Well, you thought wrong, because you're not fat. You're fat and delusional. Hey what is up guys, welcome back to my teeny tiny channel where I go around making mildly funny videos. I've been gone for quite a while now and the main reason for my absence was that I had exams at school and thank god almighty that is over. And for today, I decided to take a look at a fat acceptance video. Now I know this is a bit old but I think it'll make a pretty good piece of quality content. So sit back, relax, grab a fat feminist and let's begin. Australia's obesity epidemic is about to get worse. The country's battle of the bulge. More than 60% of Aussies are obese. Australia will be in the grip of an obesity epidemic. We are still putting on weight. Well, it certainly looks like that Australia doesn't really like obesity. Now let's hear what some fat people have to say about that. Hi, my name's Kath Reed. I'm a fat activist in Brisbane. I blog at Fat Heffalump, um, where I've been blogging for about five years. And it's my goal to change the way people think about fatness. So I just took a look at her blogs and turns out the only thing she actually does is that she glorifies obesity and basically promotes an unhealthy way of life. No matter how much you claim that a person can be healthy at every size, being healthy while being overweight is simply just absurd. Let's take a look at the definition of the word health, specifically the synonyms of the word which are good physical condition, healthiness, fitness, physical fitness, healthiness, I don't know, I don't really know what that means, good trim, in good shape, and etc. Now let's google the words good shape women and see what pops up, okay? Well, would you take a look at that, a picture with a bunch of plus sized models appeared. Now this woman can be considered healthy and in good shape. Now let's google the words healthy women. Well, I can't believe my eyes. Not a single fat activist. I think I have made my point clear. If you told me that women who look like this, this or this look good and healthy, I would 100% agree with you. But if you told me the same about women who look like this, this or this, I would think that there's something seriously wrong with you. I believe that the worst thing a person could possibly be was fat. And again, you are seriously wrong, my pink haired fupa friend. There are so many worse things you could be. For example, you could be a serial killer. Or even worse, someone like Logan Paul. Hey, hey Logan, you guys remember how Logan Paul filmed a dead person in a forest? No? Of course you don't. You are too distracted with Logan fighting KSI. You could be even worse than that. You could be Tenaman Joe and straight up scam people out of their money, make them stand in the sun without food or water for hours for absolutely fucking nothing and, and when you're exposed about that, you could start crying in front of the camera so you may earn some sympathy from Shane Dawson and your stupid audience who don't even realize that they're being manipulated by a pathological liar. You name the diet, I was on it. Um, you name the uh, weight loss plan, I was okay, on it. Okay, this is just straight up bullshit. As a kid who has gone through some dramatic weight loss myself, I can guarantee no matter how fat or unhealthy you are. If you are consistent with your diet and exercise, you can completely transform your body. I've managed to go from 125 kilos or 275 pounds to 86.3 kilos or 190.2 pounds. And all these fat acceptance people are trying to do is discourage people who are actually trying to lose weight. Just because they don't possess the willpower to stay consistent with their diet and exercise doesn't mean that you have to be someone like them. 
fat acceptance and health at every size are just excuses to make fat and lazy people feel better about themselves and the only thing the Australian government is trying to do is to help people who are struggling with excess weight overcome their hardships and help them get healthier. Jessica Simpson, I lost over 50 pounds on Weight Watchers. I'm gonna lose 15 kilos. And you know what, if you're sitting out there wanting to lose weight too, then come and join me. We're changing the shape of one of Australia's most obese towns. There seems to be a cultural obsession here, whether you're in Australia or the United States. Oh, these fat activists are trying so hard to make the actual healthy way of life look all wrong and evil, but they totally suck at it. Tell you what, since no one watches my crappy videos anyway, and you will never change the minds of smart people with enough willpower to get off their thick booties and go for a run, I'll help you create a darker image of the fitness community. Ready? In five, four, three, two. I'm gonna lose yeah. 15 kilos. Yeah, and you know what, if you're sitting out there wanting to lose weight, then come and join me. Los Angeles, Cali boy. But I'm from Ohio though, white boy. It's every day, bro, with the Disney Channel flow. Five mil on YouTube in six months, never done before. Pest all the competition, man. And that's how we make fun of Jake Paul and fat activists at the same time. Oh, and by the way, the Logan Paul vs. KSI fight was totally rigged. There used to be a cultural obsession here, whether you're in Australia or the United States, with a thin body. Health at every size is a movement that is- Holy crap, she looks like a child of Muriel Goldman if she had sex with an Oompa Loompa. Plus she has bacon in her name, which explains why fat people flock towards her. <laughs> basically just encouraging people to adopt good health behaviors and to forget about weight as a goal or weight change as a goal and instead just embrace the bodies that we're living in and make good health choices to support them. I'm sorry, I just can't listen to this crap anymore. I hate lecturing people about their way of life because it makes me feel like a vegan. But if you truly start eating fresh, wholesome, healthy, organic food, watch how much you eat it and exercise as little as 90 minutes a day, you will lose weight, get a lot healthier and you will look much, much better. No one with the height around 5 foot 10 and the weight around 300 pounds can be considered healthy no matter how flexible or muscular they are, period. Fat acceptance led me to a place where I could be who I wanted to be. And so I started to ask myself how I wanted to be. And that was positive and bright and colorful and fun. And it's a really good feeling. It is a really good feeling to not hate myself. Well, there you have it, folks. This woman just said it herself that fat acceptance is just a way for miserable, unhealthy people to feel better about themselves. And I'm not saying that there is anything wrong with accepting yourself the way you are, but you should also try hard to make yourself better and not just live in denial like these fat people do. And I think that's enough for this video. It took way too long to make, mainly because I'm a lazy bitch. But hey, what YouTuber isn't? But seriously though, thank you all for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe. My name is David Dunright and I hope to see you in my next video.